At Crimson Lights, Sharon notes it's a big day for Mariah, Tessa, and Aria. She senses they're apprehensive. Maria says they've been on pins and needles waiting for the hearing aids to come in, and now that they're here, they're terrified they won't work. Sharon recaps how brave they've been. She can understand them being afraid, but they should let themselves feel hopeful too. Tessa worries what if Aria doesn't like the hearing aids. Sharon soothes that she'll get used to them. Maria frets that she might grow up feeling different. Sharon reassures her and says she found dolls online with hearing aids. There are lots of kids and parents in the same boat. Find that community for Aria and yourselves. Maria says their biggest fear is what if it doesn't work. Sharon reminds them the doctor said this condition resolves with hearing aids. Tessa and Mariah still can't shake the fear. Sharon understands and assures them things will only get better. Tessa and Mariah anticipate her hearing their voices for the first time. Maria and Tessa decide to leave and will update Sharon soon. In her office, Nikki thinks about Victoria's anger about her not telling her Victor was faking. She recalls telling her kids that it's all Adam's fault that Victor can't trust anyone. Claire appears and speaks to Nikki, who doesn't hear her question. Claire asks if everything is oak. Nikki shrugs that she's having family issues. She and Victor had a disagreement about how to handle something. It will be fine. I appreciate your concern. Claire apologizes if it sounded like she was prying and returns to her desk after saying, I'm always available to listen. At the club, Adam hopes Nick will let the doctor do what he came to do. Nick crabs about some random doctor assessing their father's mental competence. They bicker about Adam not giving his brother any reason to trust him. Adam reminds him he gave Faith a kidney and took a bullet for their dad. He may be a judgmental maniac, but he won't let his father slip away without a fight. Nick and Adam go over how the doctor will assess their father without him knowing it. Adam figures he can pull it off. Nick finds it unethical. Adam argues, you know our father would never agree to a test on his own. He begs Nick to go along with it. He can hang him out to dry later. That Newman, Victoria brings Victor a shipping contract. It's not a good deal. Daddy, I'm sorry, it's not. The numbers aren't there, and this isn't normally a deal he would endorse, she explains. Victor fumes. Are you saying I'm not fit to run my own company? Victoria insists she just needs clarification. Victor announces he's going to meet Adam at the club to discuss the Kirsten slash Newman media merger. She's about to tell him that it didn't happen when Nate interrupts. He offers to drive Victor to the club, and the mustache becomes upset. He has his own driver. With that, he walks out and boards the elevator, smirking. At the club, Nick warns Adam this is really going to piss their dad off. Adam invites him to leave if he wants. Nick's sticking around because he doesn't trust him. Victor arrives and Nick flashes to confronting him in his office with Victoria. Victor pulls up a chair and chortles about his sons working together to build a powerful new media empire. Adam begins, I think you're forgetting. Nick blurts, Dad, this has to stop. It has to stop right now. At Newman, Nate and Victoria bicker about what to do about Victor. Victoria worries Adam will manipulate their father and make the company more vulnerable than ever. Nate has to tell her something. She wants to get to the club, but he says it's important. Nate promised Victor that he wouldn't tell anyone, but he realizes this shouldn't be a secret from her. Victor confided in him that he fears something is terribly wrong with him. He asked for my help, discreetly, of course, to find out what's going on. Nate agreed and will do whatever he can. Victoria can't believe he considered not telling her this. Nate says they only just discussed this, and Victor asked him not to tell anyone. I don't want secrets between us.